This week, I want us to focus on neuro LDS. I know I have told you we focus on GPPUSD and other pairs I've done. But the reason why I'm saying this week, I, let's focus on neuro audi It's because neuro audi the setup that I'm about to give you is on four hour. And you know, when you have a setup on four hour, it has higher chances of getting an entry. So I want you, first of all, you add euro audi in your in your watch list. And this week we are focusing on now for pairs, Euro CHF, Audi CHF, GBPSD, and now I've added Euro Audi in that watch list. So let's first do top-down analysis so that we can know why Euro Audi you need to, watch, to put it in your watch list. So we always check on three things, market structure, price action, and forex pattern. So according to the market structure, uh, of this market, for me, it is sounding more than a buy, like Euro Audi, Euro was more powerful in the previous months than the AUD. So market structure wise, it's a buy trend on the monthly timeframe. When we talk, when you come to uh, price action, we can see that there is a, a resistance area that the market has attempted uh, to break and they have not yet so you can see that is one, that is the second time, and this is the third time. So structure-wise or the price action, the price action, what we are being told by the candles that are coming to this area is that the, the, the strength of a buy, it's no longer that strong whenever it comes near this zone. So what we need here to do is to understand that yes, the momentum is buy, but buyers are getting rejected. Even now you focus on one candle, we can see the previous candle of September is a bearish candle. Uh, it's not bearish and gaff. It has not engulfed, but it's a bearish candle, like a spinning top. So sellers are the ones who are in control for the past how many months? So you can see the month, the, the market has ranged for many months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven months the market has been ranging. So yes, it can now come out from, um, from a point of uh, up, an uptrend, to arranging. So if you had commented down below, can comment down below. Do you think Euro Audi has a ranging channel or do you think we can call this an uptrend? So comment down below. Let me know majority. Will they think it's an uptrend or a ranging? So for me, it was an uptrend that entered into a ranging. So for me, I will call it more than a ranging. So price action, sellers are in control, buyers seem not to break out of certain resistance and the market has been ranging. When we come to Forex pattern, of course you can say the Forex pattern is this ranging market. And guys, I said, I'll show you the secret of trading a uh, ranging market. So you have, you have a, you have a, a the, the, the side, the, the distance, if the market breaks above or breaks below. So if those who will see ranging, that's how they should trade it. They should say, I will wait. Actually, if the, the channel, if your pattern is a channel, there's nothing much you can, you can do to, anal to analyze this market. Your work is done. You'll be flipping every single month to come and check, did it break? So if you had seen, ranging channel and you're not comfortable with other patterns that you might see, your work is done here. The only way you can get involved if it breaks either upper side, that is our resistance or downside. The reason why we, we separate the half is at least to have a targeted that is guaranteed. So if we have a guaranteed target, it becomes easier. But you see, when you just take profit if it's everywhere, it will become a bit hard for you. So the question is, how many how many are seeing a different pattern instead of a ranging? Comment down below. Do you think you can see another pattern out, out of the ranging channel? <clears throat> so that's what I want to give you. So if you're seeing the ranging channel, you'll be so patient that you will say, I'm waiting for the break above and I'm waiting for the break below. So there's nothing much you can see. So guys, if you had, if you have seen a double top, if you have seen a double top, a double top is, this is the double top. Have, how many have seen that double top? If you have seen that double top, of course, we will analyze it. That's our possible double top. 
and this is our neckline. You can see that's our neckline. Then can we measure half of that double top? I want it to be accurate. Can you see the market has, uh, it has <clears throat> touched our half. So when you have a double top and the market has not yet broke half, we are not being told to buy or to sell in the monthly. So in the monthly time frame, that's what we have. Yes, it's a sell, but you're not told sell now. Why? Because that half has to be broken. So on the monthly time frame, that's what we have. Let's go on the weekly. So the monthly, nobody can tell you, oh, Euro Audi monthly is a sell, Euro Audi is a buy. No, the market can decide what to do because no confirmation. So when you go to weekly time frame, when you go to weekly time frame, you can see on the weekly time frame, there is nothing much we have. We don't have much. In fact, we had this double bottom, if you can see on the monthly, on the weekly, that broke uh, the weekly, that broke this neckline. And the market is, is supposed to go this distance. This buy is supposed to go which distance? That distance, see? And that distance is almost at the half. So that is the idea of the market going. But you see now, what will make this market just to buy like that? So you can see we do not have a pattern, but the previous candle, the, the last week candle is bullish. These are pin bar, it's a bullish candle. So yes, we know the market is an uptrend because the reason why we know the market is an uptrend is because uh, of that double bottom on the weekly. The reason why we know the market uh, can sell or buy is because of the channel on the monthly. And that's how you differentiate you can't trade all of them. So that's the distance you want. So when I go to daily, what do I find? On the daily time frame, I still get a double bottom. So this is a double bottom on the daily. Can you see? This is the double bottom on the daily. And this double bottom is not available where? It's not available on the weekly, making this double bottom very, very strong. You see? So I want there's something I want to teach you here. There's something I want to teach you. Pay attention. And by the way, you will understand that every market that happens out there, you need to ask the Holy Spirit to always open your eyes. If only the Holy Spirit can open your eyes, market and the Forex market is very easy to, to understand. The reason why we are not making money is because our eyes are blinded. So we need to ask God who gives us the ability and the power to create the wealth. He's supposed to come and show us so I want to show you something and you will see it. It's, it's a mind blowing. So let me let me show you something. So according to weekly time frame, do you think we have this double bottom? Is there a double bottom? Note, a double bottom is just saying we have to support zone. So those people asking me, when you say there's no double bottom, all I mean is there's no support. A double bottom comes when there's a support. And a double bottom means there are two support area. So on my uh, my left side, I don't have a support zone. So I don't have a double bottom. It's only one bottom. I can't have two bottoms without two supports. So daily time frame, there's a double bottom that is not available on the where on the weekly. Can you see now on the weekly? I want you to pay attention. On the weekly, we had a double bottom. Can you see this double bottom? We had this double bottom this clear double bottom, this clear double bottom, let's find out, was it on the monthly? Let's find out, was this double bottom on the monthly? I want to show you, the minute you understand what the market makers want you to see, you'll be making money. So let's see if that double bottom was on the monthly time frame. Was it on the monthly time frame? There was nothing because this is a green candle and a green candle, there's no support. So you need to understand, when a double bottom is on the monthly, uh, it's on the weekly and not on the monthly. What we mean, there are two supports. There's two support zone on the month, on the weekly, and one support on the monthly. So that making it no support on the monthly, two supports, making no double bottom. So we didn't have that double bottom. I want to, to, to show you how this double bottom, uh, the, the how the double bottom became to be. So the double bottom was not on the monthly, so it was very, very powerful. 
So let's try to measure the half of that double bottom. So the market eventually came and broke half. You can see the same zone is where this candle, the candle broke half. And it took how many weeks? One, two, three, four, five. It took five weeks to hit the take profit, five good weeks. So how many pips were those? Once the double bottom broke half, the market was going 408, but the 408 took a whole month for it to accumulate and hit the TP. Now let's observe what happened to the neckline. You can see when the neckline was broke, it was broken by a very by two candles. You can see green, green, it's two candle meaning the market is breaking and it, it, we thought this can't be a fake breakout. But what we are seeing after the people, everyone entered this trade, how is the drawdown? 662 pips. And you know that's why people don't like double bottoms and double tops because they are thinking, how could I enter a pattern that is 600, that is taking me 600 and 622 pips? What they didn't know, what if this pattern, by the time you are thinking to buy this double bottom, what if it had activated a new pattern? Let's see. Can you see, guys? Um, on the weekly, we do not have that activation. There's nothing that was activated on the weekly. So you can't say, oh, it was due to the weekly activation. So let's go on the daily. Was it that they activated a double top on the daily that was not on the weekly and that's why the market has been selling? Let's try to see. But then when I was analyzing Euro, I was mind blown. I was like, wow. Guys, can you see? Can you see, guys? So this is what we have. And we have two zones. We have the first one and we have the second one. Those are the two zones we have. So those two zones, our question is, were they activated by the month, the, the daily candle? Did it activate? Can you see? So the, that, that area they have not activated. So let's go back again and we see, did it activate another area that is not available on the, on the daily and on the weekly? So there was no activation. So we have this area, we have that area, and we have this area. So we have two areas. Let me put this as a, let me highlight it with blue so that I can know. Uh, we, which one was activated really. So you go back and you try to see which one did it activate. So it never activated, it never activated even the two lines because it broke and it never activated the dark one. So let's see on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame again, they never activated they never activated the, the double top. So there was nothing that was activated yet. The market went down. So let's check on the four hour. So daily, nothing was activated. Daily, nothing was activated. Let's now check on the four hour time frame. So we need to, to understand what really made this market to go down. What was the issue? What made this market? to say like that. So we are checking on the two lines because if the market has activated two lines, we have a double top. So this is what we have on the two lines. Guys, can you check? I want you to check closely. On the daily, these two lines, there's nothing. So where was our double top coming from? Where do you think our double top was coming from? Our double top came from the four hour. It never came from the daily because even here, four hour, I have to push. I can do this too. We will see which one was activated. There's that option of the, the blue. Yeah, we have two options. So did it activate the lower version or the upper version? Because we have to know that there's something that made this market go down. Either a double top somewhere, either on double top on four hour daily or weekly. We have seen weekly never activated. So let's see, let's just see 
what really happened to that market. So we are squeezing this chart like that. Where are the two lines? We have drawn these are the two lines. These are the ones that are guiding us to see what really made that market to go down. What do you think made this market to go down? So guys, you can see the two lines, they were broken. So did they activate the, the fourth line? Nothing. Now, I need you to understand, whenever the weekly candle breaks the neckline and there's nothing that activated it, there's nothing that made this market to go down, there is no double top. There was nothing like a double top. You can see there was nothing like a double top. No, nothing made this market to actually sell. Now, if we really want to know what really made this market to sell, the only option now we have is monthly. Okay, guys? The last one we have is monthly. If monthly there's something that they activated, fine. So let's go to the monthly time frame. So all along, we were worrying what action, what made this market to go down. But on the monthly time frame, they activated this double top. So for you, you might think, why was the market just selling? At the end of the day, you would have put, uh, let me now remove this. Can you guys see? we? The, what made that market went down, even after having a double bottom on the daily, the market obeyed the monthly. So that was the resistance. These were the two resistance on the monthly. So we had those two lines. This is the candle. You see this week? This is the week that is showing you that it has broken with two green candles on the weekly. But how this candle closed, it never broke on the monthly, making us as a double top. So by the time the weekly candle was forming, by the time this weekly candle was forming, it was 14th of August. And then uh, and then the last red candle was the end of August. And then we started 28th of August. Of course, the market will not have closed breaking. So you will might think, oh, what really caused the market go down? It's because, yes, you, you are seeing breaking. And that's why I say, whenever you see a market breaking with two candles, can you see green, green? The next thing that you need to ask yourself, on the higher time frame, is it a fake out or is this market just giving a fake out or is a real one? Because if this market, we want to enter this double bottom, green, green, when we were supposed to buy, on the monthly, was supposed to break. So you have to have more patience. You know, maybe many people want, it breaks, you enter, you need to have more patience. So that is the first thing you ask yourself. Yes, I have a double bottom. Let me draw it for you. I have shown you. What could have been the problem? And you go to lower time frame to look what is happening. And then if lower time frame there's nothing, you start coming to higher time frame. Why? Because you don't want to make a decision. You don't want to make a decision. And again, the time frame can tell you what is happening. So in short, what I'm trying to say is that whenever you have a double bottom, and you remember that video I did about five outcomes on the neckline. Go and watch that. So I said, if you have a double bottom and this is your neckline, the market breaks that neckline. So you have a neckline here. The market breaks this neckline. The first outcome, the market can complete it. The second outcome, the market can go down. And why is it going down? Because on a higher time frame or on lower time frame, they have activated. And I think I, I showed you, I told you, the only thing a double bottom can break neckline and still go down is the activation of the side. When you check on the side, there's the first top. When And then, yes, the market has broken neckline, but it has activated a double top. So everyone will be trapped buying, yet the structure has changed, yet the chameleon has changed. So I want you to pay attention whenever you're trading double bottoms, more so when neckline is broken. So here we are seeing very clearly, and this is what started, the market breaking neckline, but on the higher time frame, there was not, there was nothing like neckline, it confirmed a double top. So now that happens, the market drops. 
come and activate a double bottom that is only available on the daily. So we have a double bottom that is available on the daily. Can you see this double bottom that is available on the daily? So this double bottom, two things can happen. It's either they break up so that we can continue or it can also give us a cap and handle, an inverted cap and handle. So this double bottom is what we want to trade it. We don't want to trade any other thing. We want to trade the double bottom on the daily because it's only, it's only double bottom on the daily. So we have the double bottom and we mark our half. And guess what? They have broke our half. The question is, would you buy? That's the question. Would you buy? Would you buy this market because half is broken? Before even you go and buy, <clears throat> ask yourself a question. What if it's a trap? Why? Because yes, we are looking at half being broken, but can't we look at just this the whole resistance? Can't we just look at this as a channel? This is a channel, guys, that has been broken. And this is the secret I want to train you on the channel break. Anytime a channel break happens, you need to understand has it broke and activated a new pattern on either higher time frame or low, part, or low time frame? So here, everyone will, will think the market is going to buy. But the question is, what if it has activated a new pattern on lower time frame? What if a new pattern has been activated on lower time frame? So eventually, the normal way for this market to give us a buy is to continue doing what? Is to continue with this buy. And you can see, this is our half and the half has a possible, the market can still come here and create a possible double top. So that's the power of knowing where the market will go. But the question here is not if we buy, the question is how are the other time frame? So if we go to weekly, if we go to weekly, there's nothing much. We can't see anything because there's no support breaking, there's no resistance breaking, weekly can't help us. So when you go back to daily, we are seeing a channel that has broken. So which pattern is this? This is pattern. This is what? Pattern one. So we started, if you can go on the, on the higher time frame, the first pattern of this market was this, a double bottom, pattern one. That was the first pattern, pattern one. Then, when we the market break neckline and activate pattern two on where? On the monthly. So pattern two where? Monthly. So pattern two on the monthly is a double top. So this is to push people away from the truth. Pattern two is the double. Pattern two is the double top on the monthly. Double top on the monthly. So pattern one, double bottom on the weekly. Pattern two, double top on the monthly and then once they exhaust the double top they you notice they reached half this double top they have reached half so once they reach half they can change so they know many people won't pay attention so they shift the time frame and they go to daily time frame and guess what they give you the next pattern they give you a double bottom a double bottom is our third pattern third pattern so so they give you a double bottom, which is our third pattern. And then after they give you the third pattern, they come and start to range. They come, by the time they are, the market doesn't want to break this area, they give you pattern four. They give you pattern four. So they have a pattern four. So once they give you pattern four, they break out of that pattern four, but everyone now is on a buy because a channel has broke. We are buying and our take profit is here. So we will get 184 pips. Let me tell you, when they give you that pattern, they know how many people they are trapping. So unless you go to, to higher time frame or lower time frame and you can see another pattern, this one who takes the day, it wins. So for me, I'm cautious, why? Because I've seen this happening in the market. So this is the fourth pattern and still the market has not yet gone. So the most surprising thing, when I went to four hour, there was a new pattern. There was a new pattern, guys. So I am opening for hour, and guess what? I open for hour. Yes, the ranging channel has broke everything. It has broke. It is saying a buy, but when I open for hour, there is a new pattern, guys. The market has a possible double top. There is a new pattern, guys. This marks pattern 
five. This marks what? Pattern five. We have a new pattern. This double top, it is very, very serious because it is not on the, this pattern is not on the, it is not on the daily. Let me show you. It is not on the daily. Can you see? Do we have a resistance here? No. So they know very sure everyone will be locked on that double bottom. And if they fail to see double bottom, they'll see a ranging. But let's, let's come and give them a pattern that they will not even involve themselves. So we have a double top on four hour. Do you know what this means? This means free money. Because this one, by Wednesday, it will have hit take profit. So we have a double top on four hour, a possible double top on four hour. Can you see it? And then we have our neckline. So a channel has changed. A channel has changed to be, to be a pattern. Let me now uh, hide that on the hours. So a channel has changed from, from a double bottom, from a channel to a double top. And that's how the market does. So let's understand the RBS. If we have the RBS as we identify the half, so you can see the market has RBS. I told you again, RBS is only taught on my mentorship program. So it is just, it's an added advantage anyway. So RBS, you can do away without it because if you understand everything I'm telling you, you still make money. So it has RBS and then it has the neckline. So that's the neckline. The question is how do we trade double, double tops on four hour? We use what? CSB, current, we use current what? We use current resistance break. So we are using CSB, current resistance break, that's what we use. So we will come and try to identify a support, not resistance, current support break, sorry for that, current support break. I'll come and try to locate a support area. And you can see guys, in the next 51 minutes, if this candle, if you open Euro Audi and you find out having break, this is a break that is about to do. If this candle closes like this on at eight, by the time you're watching this video, it is easier because this video will go live at nine. So once you watch and it has broke, that is a trade to enter. And I told you guys, if you, I give you free signal, we are learning. So you don't need to, to exercise your muscles when you come here and over risk. Just trade responsibly. If you have an account, make sure you trade responsibly. Why? We are trading Euro Audi and promoting a buy because we are hoping Audi has strength because Audi CHF on the monthly, it has a double bottom, meaning that the market is probably going to go up. So this is it. Audi is stronger. So if it breaks like that, how many pips are we targeting? How many pips? 125 pips. Guys, all the best. If you're watching this video and it has broke, it means the market has given us the entry. I hope you will enter this trade and make money. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you that exactly what I'm teaching is available. And if at all we enter, if that market breaks there, if it breaks there, that I'm saying, if this market like break there, we are going down. So once we come here down and again they break, we continue to go down. So that is the video for today. And the reason why I've given it, because I know this is a free signal. It might not, it may fail to break and go up. Cases are, if it does not break 64.45 with a body, Chances are the market can still proceed up and make a cup and handle. This one can still make a cup and handle and the market can buy crazy. So we just need the market to break there to understand that it has broke before we enter. Guys, I need to tell you something. Market, this now is the pattern what? Daily, the channel was pattern four. Imagine we are getting to pattern five. The question is, Will we get the light of the day at pattern five? Have you seen how many patterns they use? 
before they get into the right thing, before they push the market up. They will have gone so many patterns. So by the time you are pattern two, don't put all your eggs in one basket and over risk, and you don't know if it will shift to another pattern. By the time you are pattern three, four, that's when you start realizing a new pattern that will now take me to my destination has come. So guys, all the best on Euro Audi. Hope you'll make money. Hope by the time you're watching this video, even me, I'm waiting on the eight candle. And that's why I didn't want to give you a trade where you won't go and check. This one you have to go and check because you will have watched it by the time eight candle has closed. So I hope you will find that candle breaking at 96.5. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Love you.